Well, I went garbage picking again last night. Got a bike so I can put a motor on it. Dehumidifier. A disassembled weed eater that has a pole starter problem. That'll be no big deal. Expert at that. A lawn boy. So now, so now I can make a lawn boy lawnmower repair video. It even says scrap. The 1959 tube style guitar amp. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Bell satellite dish. And then just a few uh, beach toys for my beach. But they're already in the van. Oh, this thing's heavy. Haven't seen tubes for a long time. And two big speakers to push it out. I wonder if it works. I haven't even tried it yet because I don't have a guitar. And it's made by Valco Manufacturing Company. Still got a serial number. Probably was a good one in this day. Someone might want it on eBay. Time to check the compression to see if it's worth fixing. That's got great compression, so I know it's going to run great. Next step, flip it over, check the blade and bent crankshaft if it has one. Blade edge looks good. And it's not bent. The most important thing to look at when you have a lawn boy and losing power or hard to start is a wet crankshaft or greasy oily looking. If you see that, don't go any farther. Take off your blade, take off your muffler. You have to take off the motor and replace the seal that's in the bottom of the crankshaft. It only costs about two dollars. That seal is 100% important at making crankcase compression which supercharges two-stroke engines so that they work properly. So you have to change that if you ever see a wet crankshaft. Another common problem with lawn boys is this exhaust system plugs up. Sometimes the muffler plugs up or sometimes the ports in the head clog up with just carbon and exhaust crud. The symptoms of this are it starts easy when it's cold. It doesn't want to start when it's hot. It gets really smoky. It gets really quiet. And it certainly loses its high speed power. It has half the power and high fuel consumption. And so there's you know, there's your biggest tip. Next, uh, look into the air cleaner area. You can look all the way down in there and you see a shiny chrome looking reed. The reed is something only two stroke engines have. It works like a one way valve. Sometimes you find grass and little sticks in there because it was run without an air cleaner and that's another reason why a lawn boy won't start. <coughs> Of course, the most common reason for all engines for not starting is just old gas and on two strokes, sticky, sticky stale old gas in the bottom of the carburetor. So, lawn boys are so easy just to remove these two screws to pull the carburetor off. Just leave the hose disconnected. No, just leave the hose connected for the fuel. Turn the carburetor on its side and undo the screws at the bottom of the bowl. And just dump out all the crap in there. And it's off. Reeds look clean. Now this is the governor. Wind blows it from the flywheel and regulates the speed. This little thumb wheel at the bottom is a little ratchet with a spring underneath of it. By turning it and clicking it that's how you adjust the tension on this spring to make it run faster or slower. This one has a split fuel line too. Well I've undid the screws and while it was tilted the sticky gas ran out. 
on extreme cases when these lawn boys have been sitting forever the little jet hole in there gets plugged up with goo so you just slip off that little screen with your fingers and stick a, a wiggly wire or a, a pin in and clean out the little jet hole of course check that the float isn't stuck this one's working fine and it's set at the right height see if there's any sticky stuff in the bottom to remove this one's good and now reassemble if it was cruddy I'd blow it all out too lawn boys with a two mounting bolt pattern for the engine mounts were made 1979 or newer the older ones of course have three bolts to hold the engine down and they made those all the way from the 50s you know until 1978 I've dumped out all the old stale gas and it's time to add some fresh stuff Since 1979, Lawn Boys have all had solid state ignition. That means there's just a magneto, there's no points of condenser. More often than other lawnmowers, Lawn Boys electronic magnetos burn out. Almost any electronic Lawn Boy magneto will work to replace one, except that there's two kinds. One that starts when the motor's switched on, and one that only starts when the motor's switched off. It's just the way the kill system works in them. Either one will work, you just gotta remember which way to turn the switch. They both look exactly the same. Turn the gas on, and wait a minute before you try to start it. Oops, I forgot to change the leaky fuel line. I always start all my machines the first time without the air cleaner. That way I can see if the choke is working or the primer's working, and can listen to the sound it makes to know if it's going to be working right. So I'm going to push the primer button now and see if that's working. And it is. I pushed it four times, fresh fuel's coming out. I think this thing's going to fire right up. Unless it has no spark, I haven't checked, nor have I checked the spark plug. But let's see. no more. I love garbage picking in my area. They threw away good shit. Back when I was a kid, I had to do a lot of fixing on all these old moors I found in the garbage, and nowadays everybody's so rich and complacent, they just throw them away. And there's nothing really wrong with it. Cool. Easy money.